No aided in their last drive by Quebec penalties. We'll see if Quebec can keep their Picandro tempers under control. Airing it out to number 17. And he's going to keep going. That's Jacobs. Can do here. And only a minute 56 to work here for the Ontario offense. They have a long ways to go. Big pass for Lecandro, and he connects to number five. Ryan field goal range now. And just and just like that, Ontario is threatening to score. They are a penalty card and keep the offense rolling. Now big pass completed for a first down and then some. Trying to run up field. Is number 17, Jacob Suka. He uh, ended up with at the uh, end of the reception, but it's a big gain nonetheless. It was great contained by the Quebec defensive backs there. They weren't, they're gonna need a couple. Yeah, they're gonna need all the help they can get. Lecandro back to pass. Just a little bubble pass there. And not just a little bit short. Just short, not bad for second and long but that brings up third. pressure Licardro able to scramble and he finds a man and that is for a first down and more Aiden Arnott Smith picks up fifteen Licardro with the play action finds his man a move and probably lost two or three yards well he had the he had the forward probably he had about seven or eight and then you're right he came he came back a couple uh stepping up in the pocket and a great throw to jacob Sucker. and that is a first down and then some as ontario was all the way down to the to the offensive 40 yard line yeah, Saskatchewan playing a really deep zone there. You can see the receivers underneath the uh, the coverage by about five yards in all directions. And uh, good recognition from the Ontario quarterback to find his receiver in the open area and picks up about a 20-yard gain. Ryan Lacardro with plenty of time, steps up in the pocket and fires a strike. <laughs> I agree. At this point, you might want to uh, you might want to throw that ball on the ground a little bit. Play action and Aiden Arnett Smith with a big gain on first down to make it second and manageable. Yeah, it looks to be about seven yards or so. Although the referee now discussing the options. Yeah, very clearly. And easily, Lacondro picks up that first down. Yeah, picked up about two or three yards on the carry. That'll move the chains down the field and get them a little closer to center. And again, this drive, uh, a lot of yards generated. Uh, I think at the end of the day, when Ethan McKinnon looks back at this play, maybe took his eyes and looked a little upfield before he caught the ball, but he turned back downfield to try and get upfield. You see first contact there, and then he ran backwards a little bit to try and get away, and that may have cost them the first down. We'll get the measurement here. And they try again with McKinnon. And McKinnon stays on his feet, bounces off a tackle, and he gains nine yards. Uh, that's number 75 for Saskatchewan that's running back to the sideline, Leaf. To put them in a positive frame of mind, they're down by two touchdowns. They have not crossed midfield yet this quarter. Oh, good start there, and it looks like about a nine yard pass. Ethan McKinnon with the reception. So a good solid start. Again, if you just, you can, you, you still, I mean, there's tons of time left in this game. There's not a lot of time left in the quarter, but the, uh, at the 10 yard marker, now find themselves at a second and 12 situation. Gonna pass the outside caught by number 14, James Priestner, who makes Here comes the pass underneath. And this is number five, just in size. 
Here's Lacandro again. Pass to number two, Ethan McKinnon. And McKinnon trying to make something of it. The short passes have been working so far for Ontario. They've been able to get themselves completions. The problem is on that one, just not enough uh, yards. And we are going to see a special. But every time he does, it is a monster play. This time a pass to catch, it's Ryan Ogilvie going down the sidelines. 35 in short order, but they are trying for it. This is more than likely going to be a deep pass to get them a chance. And it's Lacandro running, and he slides a hook slide and takes a hit. I'm surprised that we don't see a flag. Because normally on those hook slides, you are not allowed to hit the quarterback. Yeah, it definitely took what appeared to be one or maybe two late hits there. Fortunate that he was not injured on that play. And again, a pass here to number five. To gain some yards before a field goal attempt. There's the catch. Yeah, it looks like an issue with his ankle. And it's Ryan Lacandro back in the game at quarterback, and he started the game. He is their number one quarterback on this team, and I think they did it just to calm things down. And for plays like that, Lacandro in to number two, Ethan McKinnon, who was wide open and put the game out of reach. Yeah, things are not looking good for Nova Scotia now. Just not enough time to try and mount any sort of significant comeback here, especially one as large as the, as the deficit they have right now. It just does not look good. And Lacandro, and since Lacandro has come in, let's not, let's not uh, forget to talk about this. Ontario has gotten a whole heck of a lot better. I think he's been a real calming uh, presence with this, with this team. So I think from here on out, he's going to be the guy. Yeah, you, you want your quarterback to be the biggest leader uh, on, the, on the field. You, you want that person to be able to uh, see a situation and recognize, hey, guys, we're falling apart here on certain things. We need to get it together. And that's what uh, someone like Lacandro, uh, who is highly touted as one of the best quarterbacks in this tournament and uh, showing it, the leadership ability for sure. Team Ontario, I would say Ryan Lacandro, uh, the, the, the ability that he had when he came in the huddle to kind of control the team to get them back under, for me was the top. Uh, obviously a fan of Niambia. Uh, Honorable mention to Cameron Guest, who had an amazing game as well.